Starring Ken as 3D Printer Man and Tony as Bamboo Boy and Lisa as the hairdresser. Lisa, you need to find a better way to organize those hair clipper attachments. I know. It's so hard to find the right size in all this mess. I got a guy. He can help you with that disorganized mess. Really? Who is he? His name is 3D Printer Man. Really? How do I contact him? Do you have a flashlight? I think I do. Hold on. Will this do? This will work. Okay. Let's turn the lights out. Help me, 3D Printer Man. You're my only hope. Help me, 3D Printer Man. You're my only hope. Hey, aren't you just shining this light on my ceiling? Well, if 3D Printer Man doesn't see it, I'll just text him at GOT3D. Let's wait to hear back from him. Okay. Bamboo Boy, I just saw our 3D print symbol in the sky. Somebody needs our help. To the 3D print cave. Let's go. Hi, this is Ken, 3D Printer Man's designer. 3D Printer Man has explained to me that he has a hairdresser that needs to be rescued from her disorganized hair studio by coming up with a wall-mounted rack to neatly organize her hair clipper attachments. This is a tricky design because every part has some slightly different dimensions. In my first prototype, I just made a quick sketch to see how the pieces fit. That's the beauty of a fast 3D printer, and that you can make many iterations of your design, and you almost get immediate feedback by studying your prototype. You don't have to agonize trying to spend the time making a perfect design because you're worried that it will take a day to make your prototype. So I took some measurements using my calipers, taking some of the more critical dimensions on the parts, and then I just did this uh, rough sketch for each of the different sizes. My first version of the prototype, I was just looking to try to get a sense for the size of the slots that would work. I wasn't worried about the spacing. And so when I was experimenting with these initial parts, they fit, but they really didn't work that great. I continued to refine my design. Uh, this one here, I went overboard and actually made too much space between them. And again, I was experimenting with the slots, but I still wasn't happy with the way they were fitting. And then here's where I started making some unique shapes depending on the shape of the individual part. In this version, I was able to fine tune the sizes of the different slots so that it was looking much better in terms of the way the parts would fit in. Then I made this hole here for the actual hair clipper. However, initially I made this uh, too tight, so I needed to open up that hole. And eventually this turned out to be the final design, which worked out really well. So just to show you how this fits, this fits in perfectly and it's able to slide in and out. So that works well. And then for these smaller parts up front, I put a little bevel down in there so that this drops right in and it locks in place. This one it had a unique kind of design where I had to make it so that it would just kind of hold there uh, because otherwise uh, these things would fall all the way down and fall out. So that wasn't going to work for that particular one. And then with the larger pieces, I needed to balance those so that they would be far enough away from the wall and yet they didn't uh, fall over. So this turned out quite well. And then I focused on the brackets so the assembly could be mounted to the wall. I used threaded inserts to hold everything together. Now that the hair clipper rack is finished, it's time for me to notify 3D Printer Man. Who is it? It's 3D Printer Man and Bamboo Boy. <sighs> Come in now. Here we are. Thank you so much for coming. I'm 3D Printer Man and this is Bamboo Boy. And we have a solution for your disorganized 
Hair Studio, we've come up with this little wall-mounted rack to hold your hair clipper and all its attachments. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I have such a disorganized mess over here and this would help. Suffering succotash, you do have a disorganized mess of hair clipper attachments. Okay, Bamboo Boy, let's install this rack on the wall. 3D Printer Man, do you have long underwear on? No, this is my superhero outfit. Then why does this tag say, underwear are us? Oh man, I forgot to take that tag off. <laughs> All right, well, let's focus on getting this thing installed on your wall. Okay. Ma'am, is this where you would like it? Yes. That's perfect. Bamboo Boy, can you grab the stud binder? Gotcha. Oh, Bamboo Boy, you need to set that to the non-human setting. <laughs> Sorry, 3D printer. <laughs> Bamboo Boy, can you grab the drill? You got it, 3D printer man. Bamboo Boy, we're not drilling for oil. We just need a normal drill size, buddy. Sorry, 3D printer man. Where are the screws? Wow, that was easy! We're finished rescuing you from your disorganized hair salon. Thank you, Bamboo Boy and 3D Printer Man. That's our job, ma'am. Lisa, we're going to head out to take care of our next person in distress, but would you like to see our 3D mobile? Sure, that's fabulous. Let's go! Okay! Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Thank you, 3D Printer Man and Bamboo Boy, my heroes! A few moments earlier. 3D Printer Man. Isn't that just a Honda CRV with some cheesy props? Yes. But if our viewers click the like button and potentially subscribe and share it with their friends, this will really help our channel out and then we can afford better props. <laughs> I sure do. There is such a hard time finding the right size. It's 3D Printer Man. <laughs> How do I contact him? How do I contact him? <laughs> Sorry, 3D Printer Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we got Sorry. Bamboo Boy, can you grab the uh, stud finder? Bamboo Boy, can you grab the stud finder? Bamboo boy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> In the next episode, 3D Printer Man will rescue a Harley biker. So you don't want to miss that episode. When that video will be available, that link will be here. In the meantime, you may want to watch one of my more popular videos titled, Which is Better, the Bamboo X1 Carbon or the Prusa Mark IV?
Thanks for watching. Bye.